Giancarlo, uh, yeah. we've talked to a couple of guys about Aaron and, and what that was like today when you guys heard the news. What was your reaction uh, to, to the news and, and to him, you know, taking the time to make that video to tell you himself kind of? Uh, I, I was very surprised um, just um, for, for the, the, the outlook of how how he's been acting normal and how well he's been able to cope with what he's been going through. It just shows how strong of a person he is um, that we obviously already knew, but uh, you know, this takes it to the next level and um, you know, we're all, we're all, we're all in his corner. We're all, he knows we all, we love him and um, we, we hope he's back soon. We go next to Sweeney Murdy. Go ahead, Sweeney. Giancarlo, just change it up for a baseball question for you. You've been in hitting groups with Gary Sanchez for a couple of years. When you see him get off to the kind of start he is, hitting the ball straight away, kind of right, right center or two with some authority, and maybe even in BP, what are some of the things you're seeing that have led to you know his maybe being more comfortable than he looked a year ago? Uh, yeah, that's big. Um, you got to be able to use uh, the field from foul pole to foul pole, especially when you've got the power that he does. Um, so, and it lets you recognize the ball later and, and make better decisions, um, when you attack the, the zone. So, uh, the, it's a great first look and, um, he just, he just has to build off of it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We go next to Greg Joyce, please unmute. Hey, Jim Carlage, how did you feel out there, uh, getting out there for the first time tonight and what did you see in your at best? Uh, it's good to be out there. It's good to be out there. Uh, I got some fans in the stands and um, just to get it rolling for, for me, my first spring training game. So uh, it, it was good. I mean, uh, the at-bats um, the at -bats were about how they, how I imagined for uh, not seeing live for about four months. So um, it's okay. I got, I got some time to, to tune up what I need to and we'll be all right. We go next to Eric Bowling. Eric. John Carlo, what have your impressions been so far of, of Corey Kluber? Uh, same impressions of, of playing against him. You know, he's just, he's just, uh, uh, he's a dog out there. I mean, he, he's gonna, he's gonna come pump the zone and, and carve up these hitters like he's been and, um, and not be phased. That, that, I say that's the main thing I've I've taken from watching him over the years. He's he's just unfazed um, by whatever happens uh, out there. Very poised. You go back to Greg Joyce. Uh, Derek Dietrich was talking the other day about you know your relationship in in Miami. What's it been like having him here, and uh, what have you seen from him so far? Uh, it's been great having him here. Um, yeah, brings brings back old memories um, from when we were first. Uh, first getting started down in Miami, so um, it's been good. Uh, I think uh, he's looked solid and uh, he's he's working hard as he usually does, and um, he just got got to keep it rolling. Is there a last one for G before we let him go? Back to you, Eric. Just to follow up on on Greg's question, Dietrich was talking about how comfortable he is at a, a variety of positions in the field. What did you see from him defensively in Miami, wherever you know the franchise decided to put him? Yeah, I mean it's very important to have a guy like that that could play multiple positions, especially infield, outfield. It just uh, for for the rocky parts of the year, we're always going to need a guy to kind of bounce around and um, you know help help uh, our roster fill spots um, throughout the, the season. So uh, de definitely good to have a guy like that. Gee, thank you and enjoy your night. Thank you. We're back with uh, Carlos Mendoza.